Ooh, the boss who monitored my bathroom use. That is a weird sentence and sounds illegal already. My first job out of college was in sales, but it operated much more like a call center, mistake number one. As a result of the high volume of incoming calls, every rep was required to be on the phone and at their desk at all times. That meant we had a bathroom request button on our computers. Anytime you had to use the restroom, you'd click the button, cross your fingers or legs and hope for the best. The request got kicked up to my not so great manager and nine times out of 10 denied immediately. That's illegal. I don't know, this is sketchy, man. No, there's no freaking way that I would ever work somewhere like that. That's crazy. You have, listen, female time of the month, give me a break, you're thinking I'm requesting to use the bathroom. Two, I got IBS, okay? We're not going into detail, but give me a friggin' break. Uh, yeah, this is disturbing. The boss who double-crossed me, I once had a boss who knew that I needed to go to physical therapy sessions due to an accident. He told me that would not be a problem. Yet, when one of those sessions was at the end of the day on Friday, he had plans too. So in front of a very senior leader at the company and a client, he said that I'd take the lead on it and then took off. Yeah, you got double crossed. You got set up there. Honestly, that's horrible because I would just kindly say to the leader and say, oh, um, actually I was in an accident and I have a very important physical therapy session that I need to be at and you already knew that. So as the manager, that's not my problem, that's yours. I had the flu and was horribly sick working there. Had to call out of my shift and the manager called me every hour on the hour to ask if I was better and ready to come in yet. I should have quit right then, but I really needed the job at the time. Oh, that's the worst. It's the worst when you, like the job is awful and then like obviously you have to work that job because you need the money to get by in life because life ain't cheap and like, yeah. That's so sticky. That's brutal. I would never even answer. I would, that would be, my phone would be turned off. It would be on silent. The flu is no joke. Ugh, I hate being sick. Knock on wood. I'm not sick right now. When I was new on my first job, my boss was complaining about someone who called out. His uncle died. Who calls out because of an uncle? You there. He said, pointing at me, would you call out for an uncle? Depends on the uncle, I said. <laughs> he glared at me and walked away. I mean, depends on the uncle. <laughs> if it's like an uncle that, you know, no. Like, I mean, who knows? It could be an uncle that you really isn't a big part of your life or they don't live in that city or like who knows really what their family dynamic is. But any type of family member who passes, I feel like you have a very valid reason to be at that funeral, even if it's just to support family members who are close to them. Okay. I was in high school working a summer job when my father had a massive accident and I needed to go for one weekend to help out. My manager's reply, what's more important, work or family? He wanted me to choose for a summer job. For <laughs> What's the choice? Are you kidding me? Family should always come first, especially with something like this. Work is important in the sense of we all need a job to survive in life. So of course it's important. However, family, sir, over a summer job. I had a boss complain that I was using my personal phone too much while my spouse was undergoing a risky pregnancy. Then the boss said I was using too much leave time after the baby was born. Good thing is that boss is long gone and I'm still here. Ooh, a success story. So you kind of got the title. Like you kind of, you wished your boss was fired and then they did, like cool. I mean, that's terrible. When your spouse is pregnant in general, like anything can happen at any time and you should have your phone on you constantly. You like, that's just kind of necessity. And then a leave, especially if you had complications in the pregnancy, like, sorry, gotta take care of my woman and my baby. I respect it. When I worked at Old Navy, <laughs> my, sh I don't know why I laughed at that. I've literally worked retail many times. I think I laughed because I'm like, how, how is there like a boss complaint at Old Navy? Like, like Old Navy, that's like the, like a, all I picture when I think of Old Navy is like their commercials of like happy families and anyways. When I worked at Old Navy, my shift ended at six and when I went to clock out at 5.59, my manager got mad at me and began to reprimand me about how that minute was company time. I will work an extra minute tomorrow, sir. I will start one minute earlier just for you. Like I would honestly, like that's how, that's hysterical, but that's how I would respond. I'd be like, ooh, 
so sorry. I will be there in a minute. Working at H&M, I called from my bathroom toilet puking my guts out and I, and as I told my manager I'm not coming in, I legit puked over the phone and they still had the audacity to say, so are you sure you're too sick to come in? It's only a five hour shift. <gasps> uh, yeah, no. Like we're, I'm sorry, do you want me to puke in the, in the aisles? The clothing aisles? Do you want me to puke at the cash register? Like, what do you mean? I had a manager at an old gym that I worked at and I was the opener. So I had to be there at six in the morning to open the gym for a few hours. And then I'd go to my other job and I was so sick one day, like puking like this, puking this, fever, chills. And she was like, you can just, can't you just go in for a few hours? Honestly, just go open the gym. And then in between people coming in, you can go and lie down in the back. I don't care. Like. Do you hear yourself? How about you go in? Anyways, we didn't get along, clearly. I called out of Disney from the ER because my lungs stopped working. Disney. And when I told my scheduler where I was, his response was, you should have planned your life better. <laughs> so screw you, Air. I'm sorry? My lungs stopped working. Should have planned my, oh, I, wow. Yes, because I actually planned my lungs to stop working. I planned it to happen today, on this day specifically, for my lungs to stop working. Holy moly. Disney is in Disney World, Disney show, Disney music, live Disney. I need answers. I want that job. One time when I worked at Kohl's in high school, they kept calling me to pick up shifts during school. And when I said no over and over, they asked if school was more important. I was 16. <laughs> Normally, adults are like, stay in school, kids. No, I guess not these ones. Not a Kohl's. They're like, education is not important. Work for us. Work in retail your whole life here at Kohl's. Actually, I had really good managers when I was, I worked at some Hortons in high school and they were always very much like, if you, you know, stay in school, we'll go around your school schedule, you have exams, this and that, we'll work around it, stay in school. Like they were very supportive of kids and like, what? At 16? I'm sure school and work is not important to any 16 year old. So, trick question. Two years after being fired, I received an email from my former boss asking if I could train my replacement. No, no, no. I mean, that's just, that is the quickest email that I would ever write. It would be like one of those automated messages options that are at the bottom of the email and just write like no or no thank you, you know? On my way to work at AMC, I was in a bad car accident where my car was totaled. I asked my girlfriend to take me to work and I worked the rest of my shift that night telling them I need time off. GM talks to me on a night I call off saying I should inform them of conflicts in advance. <laughs> God, do these people not understand how life works? Accidents literally have the definition of it, them not being planned. Like that is literally the definition of an accident is that it just happens unexpectedly, unplanned. That is what an accident is. Y'all, I can't with some bosses. Thank Jesus, I just gotta say that I got a wicked boss because this sh Oh, that's crazy. That'll make me be self-employed real quick. Somehow, some way. Only fans, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is a friggin' joke, y'all. I've seen comments being like, get, get an OF. I don't know if I can say it on YouTube. Absolutely not. And if you ever see one of me or my name, it is not me. I do not have one. That is it. Alrighty, these are some horrible bosses. I kind of am curious about yours. Uh, you know, keep it anonymous maybe. But let me know if you've ever had a horrible boss story. I kind of gave you one of mine. I have more, trust me. But not at this job. I actually have a great boss. I am out of here. Stay classy and stay sassy. I don't know why I'm... Anyways, I totally forgot that I was recording. <laughs> I'm sitting here responding to people, taking my friggin' time. I am so sorry, editor, that you had to just watch me like read a message, think about my answer, and then respond. Anyways, <laughs> I once had a boss. Actually, hold on. Sorry, I do have to answer this message. Sorry, it's my boss. Speaking of bosses, I have to answer. All this footage in this film is just gonna be like me answering. Anyways, and sorry to the editor for all the in-between messages that I had to do. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.